Hey guys, no one man here. Welcome to the ultimate Atari 3 Plus plugin video. So in this video, I'll be teaching you how to get plugins working on Atari 3, as well as in the description there will be linked to every single plugin that has been made for the game. I'll go through and explain what each plugin does, and you can add whatever ones you'd like. So the requirements is you can either download one or two things. So you can either download everything. There will be a RAR file in the description to download everything in one download, or you can download just specifically what you want. So you're going to need at least these two. You're going to need GH3 plus plugin mod, and you're going to need zones, the zone download. And then you can download whatever plugins you want. So I'll explain what each plugin does. So there's always double notes that will take every single note in the game and just make them chords. Um, there's the tilt fix, which fixes tilting problems in Guitar Hero 3, so sometimes your guitar will just activate randomly. It'll fix that. Um, I believe there's a problem with that, though, if you're using keyboard. So if you're using a keyboard or a keyboard emulator in order to get your guitar to work, do not use that um, plugin. Mirror mode flips the chart around, so that's pretty self-explanatory. Force tap notes, that basically forces every single note as a tap note. However, for that plugin, you're also going to need the tap hopo chord plugin with that for it to work, which the tap hopo chord plugin adds um, hopo chords and tap notes. There's the force strum notes plugin that'll force every single note as a strum note. There's the whammy fix, which I recommend as well. It fixes whammy on high FPS, and you have the note limit fix, which allows you to have more than 4,000 notes in the game. So you can download whatever plugins you want. I recommend the note limit fix, the whammy fix, the tilt fix, and the tap hobo chord plugin. The others are more for just fun messing around. So once you have the plugins you want, um, this is what you're going to do. So first, you're going to open up the GH3 Plus plugin um, file, Oops. and in here you're going to add a couple. You're going to need to go to your Guitar Hero 3 directory. So the standard install directory is C, Program Files x86, Aspire, Guitar Hero 3, and this is where Guitar Hero 3 is installed. So once you're in here, you're going to need to do this. So there's a Guitar Hero 3 folder in here. So you're going to first drag and drop this exe into here. And you're going to click Move and Replace. I already have it, so I'm not going to deal with that right now. And then under here, there's a Plugins folder. So there's already a couple plugins in here um, that come default. However, you can do whatever, add whatever extra plugins you want. Um, I believe there are updates for these plugins. For the Tap Hopo Chord plugin, there is an update, so you probably want to replace that. So then you're going to drag the plugins folder into the same place, so where the GH3EXE is. So it'll add a plugins folder here. So this is where you can add any plugin you want. So in this case, let me open the folder again. Um, you're going to download the plugins you want. So these are all the plugins. So no limit fix and whammy fix are already in here, so I recommend though adding the tilt fix. And for the tap hopo chords, I believe there is a update. So let me let me check here. Yes, there is an updated one. So I recommend downloading the update for the tap hopo chord plugin and updating it uh, by just replacing it. Um, and then there's a couple others here you can add. You can add always double notes, four strums. Um, I recommend downloading them and just adding them to a disabled folder here so you can quickly add them whenever you want. You don't have to, it's up to you. Um, and one more thing you're going to need to do if you're adding the Tap Hopo Chord plugin. If you're adding that, you're going to need to add Tap Notes. So to do that, there is a Tap Notes Zones folder. So this is the default zones, which is the look of the game, but I just added in the tap notes. There's more customization you can do, but that's a little bit more complex. But to do this, you're going to go to Data in Guitar Hero 3, Zones, and you're just going to drag and drop these files in here and replace them. I'm not going to do that because I have my own custom zones, but you just copy and replace them here. Move and replace them, sorry. And that's it. You now have the plugins you want, you have the plugin mod, and you have zones so you can actually look, uh, you can actually do tap notes. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll try to keep the plugin description updated with all the newest updates and the newest plugins. So thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day.